One of the wealthiest surviving dynasties worldwide is the House of Tani, the royal family of Qatar, led by Tamim bin Hamad Al Tani. Their lifestyles are filled with comforts that the average person could never imagine. There is nothing remarkable they lack, not even the best supercars or gigantic homes in the biggest cities in the world. They are the owner of a mansion in the center of Doha, a private plane that is a Boeing 747 jumbo jet with 10 beds rather than a Gulfstream or a Bombardier, and of course, the floating castle Katara. It is estimated that the House of Tani is worth $335 billion. So with such figures, what kind of a lifestyle do you expect from them? This is quite interesting. Stay tuned. Tamim bin Hamad Al Tani was the first to take power peacefully. However, despite being a royal, he ranks very low among the top 10 wealthiest royals worldwide because of his wealth of $2.1 billion. Before he abdicated the throne, Hamad bin Khalifa made a significant contribution to Qatar's economy. In 2005, he founded the Qatar Investment Authority and invested over $100 billion. One of the assets QIA has so far brought is Herod's commonly referred to be the most sumptuous department store in the United Kingdom. Moreover, QIA has acquired Prenton, a department store in Paris, and because it first opened in 1865, this store has great historical significance. It is among the best department stores in the world for high-end items and fashion. And to one of the most interesting parts, how about we take a look at their car collection? Given their enormous wealth, you might be curious about the royal family's expensive car collection. A person's status can be inferred in part from the vehicle they drive. Being a member of the Qatar royal family makes you naturally want the best. One of the most well-known cars in the world is the Chiron, produced by the French and German automaker Bugatti. However, the supercar's high cost and rarity prevented from being widely owned. On one occasion, Qatar's royal family member was seen operating the Bugatti Chiron. This is not your standard Bugatti Chiron, though. Based on the Super Sport 300, the Chiron version set the world record for the fastest automobile, achieving 300 miles per hour. The Chiron Sport's top speed is 261 miles per hour, while the Super Sport's is 273 miles per hour. And by the way, only 40 Devos were designed by Bugatti, with prices starting at $5.08 million and rising significantly as customers selected other extras and made customized demands. Surprisingly, this is not the only Bugatti Devo owned by a Qatari royal family member. Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad was seen driving a Devo in the streets of London, along with his Ferrari Monza SP2 and Lamborghini Sian FKP37 he shipped the hypercar to the UK. The royal family generally has over 4,000 automobiles. Even by the standards of billionaires or kings, this family is unique. They drive cars made by all the major automakers. That's not it. Let's have a look at the palace. As would be expected, the royal family spends billions like billionaires. The current emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim, resides in Doha, the country's royal palace. The royal complex contains many ceremonial and residential courts. The interior of the palace is also furnished with gold furniture. Outside the palace is a big enclosure with room for more than 500 automobiles. The cost of building the palace exceeded $1 billion. A second palace for the Emir of Oman was finished in 2019. The palace in Oman is equally gorgeous as the one in Qatar. The Jebel al Akhtar Mountains of Oman are where the castle is situated. The palace was built by the Omani Courts Architecture Engineering Technologies Limited Liability Company. It is made up of more than 100 white structures. At 2,000 meters, the castle in Oman is situated in a spectacular area with views of a charming canyon. And have you ever wondered about their real estate portfolio? Let's have a look. Interestingly, the royal family of Qatar already owns more property in England than the royal family of England. Real estate that isn't even in Qatar has brought enormous earnings for the royal family. The family has invested hundreds of millions in purchasing structures and shops around the UK. The desire to own a house, particularly one in the center of London, is shared by all. When the previous emir of Qatar's wife, Sheikh Hamozer bin Nasser al Misned, reportedly paid $80 million for a Cornwall terrace, it appears that she had the same idea. A further $40 million was then spent by her to purchase two three Cornwall Terrace. The opulent one Cornwall Terrace has seven bedrooms, 11 reception rooms, nine bathrooms, rooms for beauty treatments, and a leisure complex with a gym and a heated indoor pool. 
it is 21,500 square feet in size. At the same time, the close-by 2-3 Cornwall Terrace has 14,000 square feet and six bedrooms. According to media reports, the family hoped to transform the five-story Grade 1 listed terraced houses into a 17-bedroom mega mansion valued at over $230 million. While they aren't at home in Qatar, the royals are undoubtedly basking in the sun of one of their floating palaces, or super yachts. How about we have a look at their yacht collection? It cannot be denied that wealthy individuals enjoy purchasing ostentatious yachts, so it was not shocking to see a $400 million super yacht parked in the UK that belonged to the Qatari royal family. One of the largest super yachts in the world, the Qatara, was spotted docked in Falmouth, Cornwall, close to the opulent cruise ship, The World. The Qatara is very impressive. Qatara may be removed from Qatar, but the wealthy Qataris cannot be removed from the lavish Qatara. The $400 million mega yacht is unique and is thought to be Amir Tamim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani and his family's floating palace. A few of its incredible features include 18 cabins, a gym, a beach club, a beauty salon, and underwater lights. There is enough for 95 crew members and 34 guests in the suites ensuring that everyone has a wonderful time at sea. The Qatari royal family also owns the multi-million dollar cruiser Al Lusail, another yacht in their collection, a $500 million super yacht that belongs to the Qatar royal family. The Al Lusail is one of the biggest boats in the world. It is 404 feet long and was built by the German shipyard Lursen. It was made by the premier high-end products design company March & White in England. And well, it can fit 36 guests and 56 staff members. Numerous indoor swimming pools, a spa, a theater, a beauty salon, and a gym are also available. Due to the exterior balconies, the boat can make good use of natural light. Any of its six decks can be reached by elevator. The royal dynasty of Qatar is also a master of the sky. Let's have a look at some of the jets they own. Well, they established the exclusive airline Qatar Amiri flight in 1977 which only transports members of the nation's royal family and senior government officials. According to plane spotters, the airline presently possesses 14 jets, including three huge Boeing 747-8s, the model's most costly commercial jets, which cost more than $400 million apiece. Other Airbus models include the Airbus 340-300, valued at $350 million and $500 million, while the remainder is various Airbus models priced between $100 million and $300 million. There is no doubt that the royal family of Qatar enjoys sports, but how exactly? The Emir of Qatar currently has similar interests to other billionaires in Asia and Europe. While billionaires from the United States could be interested in space travel, football is a shared fascination for billionaires worldwide. The Emir's dedication to this may be the only one to outweigh his regal religious concerns. One of his main tactics is to use football to raise Qatar's international profile as many football games as he can consistently host across the country. The nation's several internationally renowned stadiums make the present Emir proud. One of their premier stadiums is the Lusail Stadium. This is where the World Cup was hosted in 2022. It is the largest World Cup stadium, with a capacity of over 80,000 bands. It was a significant expenditure that may have cost as much as $767 million. On the other hand, the Qatar royal family owns many soccer teams in Asia and Europe. The most well-known football teams they own are Malaga in Spain and Paris Saint-Germain in France. According to reports, PSG gets the seventh highest earnings in the sport industry, with an expected income of 541 million pounds. According to Forbes and Deloitte, they are worth $2.5 billion the world's 10th most valuable football club. The Qatar royal family certainly leads a lavish lifestyle, as seen by their extravagant palaces, opulent private jets, and spectacular collection of supercars and yachts. Their extravagant parties and gatherings are legendary. Without a doubt, the royal family of Qatar fully enjoys everything possible since they have access to it. Anyway, what kind of lifestyle would you live if you were royalty? Comment below. Also, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video.